Hello, in this free JS video, we're going to show you how to use and create, or, or I should say, create and use skyboxes. You've obviously played a game, a lot of games if you're here learning free JS and learning games programming. So, skyboxes, the principle is very simple. And like I said, if you've played any 3D game really, or if you play a 3D game, you most likely will have seen a skybox. But the thing is, you wouldn't have perceived it as what it is. So let me explain what a skybox is. Better yet, let me show you the outcome of using a skybox. Look, I've got this 3D world, it's got buildings in the background, it's got this, you know, this dodgy eye thing I can look around. But this isn't a 3D world. This is literally, the, this is where the magic comes in. I'm going to zoom out. It's literally a cube. That's all it is. It's just a textured cube and the camera lies in the center of this cube. So whenever we look around, it looks like we're in the 3D world and you can't really see where the different edges line up. And that's what a skybox is. It's literally a cube that's textured to make it look like you're in a big open world, whether it's you're in the like out in space, whether you're in a jungle, whether you're at sea, whatever it is, it gives that illusion. And you might be thinking, why would you want to do that? Can't you get better quality from actually creating the models yourself and having a real 3D world? And yeah, generally you can get a better result, but the trade-off in terms of performance is huge because you've got to render all those different objects whereas this look like i said we're doing nothing but six images one for the floor one for that face there like there's, there's one there i think there there i don't even know where the actual edges are that's it's that good and there's one for the sky and i've got these sky boxes or off a website called custommapmakers.org check it out they've got a bunch of sky boxes what I didn't notice was when you download one of these I'll show you this they're actually TGA files and TGA isn't supported in FreeJS but just open it up in any sort of image editing tool and save it out as a PNG that's what I did you'll be able to use it like that so let's actually go about coding this you might be thinking oh this looks so complex in terms of the output it must be complex code but like I said it's a cube with texturing and we've covered both of those principles so let's just create var geometry equals new free dot cube geometry and for this I'm just going to specify 10,000 by 10,000 generally you want a big sky box because when you're moving around the sky box you generally don't want it to be moving anywhere you definitely don't want to get to literally the end of the sky box basically you don't want to be right up next to one of the faces because it'll look blurry it won't look very good the 3d effect will basically diminish so that's something that you do not want to do before i actually continue with this i'll show you i've already added the image files all pretty simple stuff we got like back down front left right up this is another skybox that i'll show you in a moment and this is the one that we just saw so we've created the geometry now we're going to create the material so var cube materials equals let's end it off semicolon and in here it's going to be new Free dot mesh basic material and in here we're gonna provide a few parameters to set it up so we're gonna do map new free dot texture loader dot load and in here we're gonna specify image forward slash skybox forward slash skybox one sorry front dot png and now we're going to specify the way we're going to render in terms of side so this is going to be side free dot double side and now we're going to just 
comment this actually no I won't bother commenting that so let's just copy and paste this I mean we need it a few more times I was noticed I put a semicolon instead of a comma my bad easily fixed though and for the final one just remove the semicolon just change this to I just love this about a good ID like brackets I can double click this image and it provides a preview with some basic information like the dimensions so it's just fantastic for getting a brief overview of what you're dealing with so this is called actually it's lowercase I was just thinking I'm pretty sure it's lowercase so change this to back I've already worked all of this out in what order it should be because if you don't put it in the right order the images won't align properly but again I already sorted this all out for you I've worked it out you don't have to worry about that because when you actually download I'll show you again actually it's already in the bin when you download a skybox like this one from the custom website though they're not named back down front whatnot they have this postfix bk dn ft so back down front left right up and once you've converted them to png rename them we can use this current name it doesn't matter what naming system you use as long as, long as you know what you're using and as long as you're consistent that is what is important so let's change this to where are we on down right and then finally left we've pretty much done the bulk of it now we just need to do var q material equals new free dot ambient light and in here we're gonna do hash uh, zero x sorry I don't know what the hell is going on there with my fingers 0 0.5 so there's some uh, material Okay, what the hell have I done? Oh, I was just looking, I was like, I've just literally, I was looking at this line of code because it was so near, and I've just copied and pasted it into my head, and then I've just wrote that out. That is embarrassing. So, the actual code is free dot mesh face material. I was thinking what yet to specify color, but I thought, well, that's what I'm doing. Well, the reason I'm doing it is because it's below it. But let's specify the right one now. Cube materials. Let's create a cube. So var cube equals new free. And I'll make sure I don't copy the line below like last time. Specify the geometry that we're drawing and any materials, which is cube material. Finally, scene dot add cube. Save that. Something does. No, I think it's okay. So let's go back, refresh. No, something doesn't seem right. So let's inspect the console. Line 50. Yeah, because obviously the color is off in terms of the syntax highlighting. So something about this, it is not liking. Hmm. See what can if I remove this one? I don't like any of them. So, uh, I use curly braces instead of square braces, my bad. If you notice that and you've already updated, fantastic, great. You deserve a cookie. Actually, I want some cookies. If not, fix it right now. Very simple stuff. And I can guarantee it's going to work now. I can't guarantee. I just hoped. So, there you go. Within a few lines of code, we are now on some sort of, I don't know, beach cliff side mountain area either way it looks very convincing once you've got loads of other objects in the world you got a player and you're moving around the scenery you just think yeah that looks pretty decent but because you won't just you won't be staring at it those hills those mountains in the background they literally look realistic they look like if i were to keep walking towards it i could actually reach it and climb those mountains but obviously we know you can't do that one because it's a game and two because it's just a flat image so that's how to create a skybox and that's what a skybox is very simple stuff but very effective so 
definitely consider using a skybox in your game. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on our education platform, sonarlearning.co.uk, or feel free to contact us in any means possible to you. All the source code for this video and the source code from every other video in this series will be available on GitHub and the link to that will be in the description. So check that out if you are having any issues. And as usual, thank you for watching and stay frosty.